a snip of the scissors just above the ear, and nail polish applied in dotted lines. These hairdressers and beauticians needn't look far for inspiration, surrounded by priceless works of art at the Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Of course, um, I'm pro-vaccines, <laughs> and I'm also pro-culture, uh, so that's why I'm, I'm here. Last week, the Netherlands allowed hairdressers, gyms and beauty salons to reopen after a month-long lockdown, but cultural venues must remain shut. In protest of the rules, the Van Gogh Museum brought in barbers and a nail bar. We wanted to make the point that a museum visit is a safe visit and we think we should be open. Dozens of cultural sites also got creative in their protest. Amsterdam's Concertgebouw Concert Hall treated visitors to American composer Charles Ives' Symphony No. 2, as well as a cut and blow dry. We have shown over the last two years that it's very, very safe to go to a concert or to go to a museum. Actually, it's our profession, crowd management. We know how to deal with large crowds. The temporary openings follow similar civil disobedience measures by bars and restaurants. The government has said it will look at a further easing of restrictions for January 25. While hospitalizations are decreasing, new infections driven by the Omicron variant are hitting record levels.